What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Constant, and we are back at it reviewing another pro matchup. On the bottom right hand corner we have Petit Zrogo. And on the top left hand corner we have Elazer. Y'all know the gist of it. Pro level Grandmaster matchup. GLHF. Laser doesn't want Petit Drogo to have fun. I see how it is a laser. Come on, Drogo. Crush him. <laughs> but as I was saying, Grandmaster level matchup. Both of these players very, very capable of doing the crazy strategies and being so solid on macro and micro. So the difference between them will probably be very minimal. One slight mistake might just end the game. That's how it usually is. Or a couple minor mistakes lead into a big change of events. But a little bit of a pro block there by Drogo. I mean, Laser didn't even send a drone down there. He was like, yeah, you know, Drogo, I know what you're doing there. And I I'm not having any of it. I'm just going to take my second base at my third base. Drogo's like, all right, bro. You do you, man. You do you. But it does look like a pretty standard game from here. Gateway into Nexus, Nexus uh, Hatchery into Spawning Pool, and then probably this just, like specific tile come with the Hatchery, or is it just like, oh no, I was gonna say like, whoa, did that, did that Hatchery just spawn a bunch of tiles? That would be pretty sick, not gonna lie, but a laser sending his Overlord in for a small little scout, but no tech right now. Tech usually shines at around four-ish minutes. For the Protoss players, Zergs is around 4-ish, 4.15-ish. You can tell if either it's going to be a Baneling Nest or Roach Warren first. 4 minutes is around the gist of it as when you want to scout as the other race. But let's see what Petit Drogo is going to go for. Or a uh, laser. I mean, it looks like a pretty standard game. So as of now, there's no cheese, there's no Dank Shrine, there's no Nidus Worm. Not yet. But you never know. Adept coming out first. Just for scouting purposes. But it looks like the tech has been shown. It is going to be a robotics facility. By Petit Zrogo. A laser. Joining his heart away. And queening. Queening? Brenda? Queening. Queening. Anyways. Yep, there you go. Second base is now taken for a laser. Double gateway going down. Robotics facility has just finished Immortal first, I'm assuming. Come on. Or it could be an observer, actually. Or maybe he's not going to make it. Oh, really? Interesting choice there by Drogo. War Prism first. I mean, he doesn't have many units out. Right? Let's see. He's got one Stalker and one Adept. I don't know. Oh, and, and a Sentry. I don't know what kind of damage he's planning to do with that. With the Port Prism, but... Maybe he just wants to do a little bit of a harassment. Just to keep the Zerg off his back. The Zerg scum off his back. Or he's just going to try to shoo away that Overlord. But he could always use uh, an Observer as well. But looks like he's going to load up a couple of those units... Maybe go around and attack a laser when he's not looking. He's gonna attack him behind his back. Oh, look at that. Four minutes and the Roach Warden's come down. Oh my goodness. I'm so good. Please support me. <laughs> See, like, look at that. Look at my timings. I'm so good. I'm just kidding. That's when usually everyone puts their tech down. So, I mean, it's not like I knew it beforehand. But it looks like he's going to take an Immortal, a Sentry, and a Stalker. Let's see what Drogo can actually get done. Because a laser has got a good amount of links. Is he going to try to pressure? Drogo, what is this? What? What kind of... He doesn't even have an Observer. I thought he's, maybe he's going to clear some creep, but... This is a very, very interesting typed timing attack where... The Zerg player just doesn't know what to do because he really doesn't have much either. I mean, I guess he forced a lot, out a lot of lings, but a laser is like 
Uh, I'm not stupid. I'm gonna be making 11 drones. Laser knows what's going on, but Petit Drogo, he's still on two bases. He's got a Twilight Council and a Forge down, charge and plus one on the way. He should be expanding. I mean, he should have already expanded, but I'm surprised he hasn't expanded yet. Laser happily taking his fourth base now. Drogo, um, he's adding on another gateway and a Templar archive. That's quite a lot of tech on only two bases and another gateway. Oh boy, two more gateways. I don't think Drogo is planning on expanding. And this does look like it is going to be a very, very aggressive timing attack. Five gateways, six gateways, what is that, eight gates? Yep, eight gates timing attack. Looks like he's taking a... Uh, page out of Partings and Zest's book. Well, mainly Zest, I think. But Zest loves his two base. Well, Zest usually goes for his third base and um, mines up a little bit. I think he goes to like 50 workers or 50 or 60 workers. And then he just eight gates, smashes whichever opponent he has because he's that good with his micro. But it looks like Drogo just wants to go for the kill. He's gonna start massing up lots of Zealots and maybe a couple more Archons, but this army is just so small. Three Immortals, an Archon, a Zealot, and a Sentry. He's gonna try to, but as soon as his production ramps up, he's gonna be in a good position, but a laser, he's on four bases, 56 workers. He has all the time in the world. He just gotta spread the creep some more. And I mean, look at how much vision he has. He has, Protoss gets on his thing and he has so much vision. And Drogo is gonna go straight for it. Zergo, I don't think you wanna do that. You don't want a challenge like that on creep. I mean, you will not be successful, my friend. This is, I mean, 28, but there's no Banelings Nest, which really might hurt a laser there. I mean, Drogo's gonna start massing up lots of Zealots, but here comes the engagement. Zerglings all around, all their Protoss forces. Nice pickup by Drogo, but he's, a laser is running away. He's got a laser on the run. More Lings and a couple Queens coming from the side. Lots of Ravagers are there as well, but there's nothing to tank right now for the Protoss player. He can shoot down these Immortals and Archons, but they are beating through. These Zealots are not being taken care of. They are right on top of the Ravagers and the Queens. Laser is being pushed back. And Drogo, nine Roaches are on the way. Drogo just going to keep on reinforcing with those Zealots and those Immortals. Is, is he really, is the Laser really losing to this? I mean, Laser scouted everything. He knew exactly what was going on. There we go. He picks off the War Prism, and now this attack should end. Drogo has no way of getting home unless he does recall, but... Oh, uh, yeah, he's going to recall. Maybe he can pick up that Immortal. Yes, he picks up one Immortal before he loses, before he uh, recalls away. Drogo, he's only on basically one base of mining. Oh, I guess he's got 14 saturation there, but... Four base versus a Laser, which he's... I mean, Drogo is so far behind. Economically, he's so far behind. Laser, I don't think you need to push this. I think you can just sit back and drone up some more. I don't think Drogo can rush you right now. I don't think attacking into him is the smartest thing to do right now. And now he's going to try to run away, but these Ravagers are not going to be able to run away. He's going to have to sacrifice some of these Lings as well to buffer for the Ravagers so they don't get picked off. Nice pick up there by Drogo, but... Immortal does take a little bit of damage from those corrosive vials. Twelve more witches are on the way. Drogo, he's he's running on fumes here. He doesn't have much left, but a laser. He lost basically the entire army there. I don't know why he chased him. He's gonna try to go for a counterattack with those links, but I really think you need those links at home. Drogo is not gonna march up and take down the fourth base of a laser. A laser is trying to get whatever units he can, but roaches they very they really inflate your army supply because they're so squishy. And especially against Immortal Archon Zealot, which literally smashes this composition. I don't know what he's going to do against this. He just, if he would have had those like 10 Ravagers and like 30 Lings at this battlefield right now, I think he would have had this game. He necessarily did not need to push that. But I think with this, Drogo can maybe push him out. Lots of more Zealots are on the way with four Archons and an Immortal. I mean, he's just got like 10 Roaches, 10, 15 Roaches, maybe a couple Ravagers. What is he going to do against this? Drogo can easily just keep on pushing him back and back into his base, and if he can choke him into the mineral line, those roaches cannot run away from those mighty and juicy archons. Drogo, 
he's running out of minerals, so he just got gas. So he's gonna keep on making more and more Archons. I mean, Archons are still really good, especially against clumped up roaches like that. The minorly splash damage they do is very helpful, but Zealots on top of the roaches, Archons now getting all that splash onto those roaches. Brenda is going to be taken down in the engagement as well. Five Archons and an Immortal. That's such a ragdoll army. A laser getting pushed back. I don't know what he's going to do to defend against this. He's losing so much. And Drogo is just going to keep on reinforcing with as many resources as he's got. He's broke, but he's, he has enough to get a couple Zealots or something like that into the mix. And Drogo just stomps the laser. I really think that Elaser should not have pushed there. Honestly, Elaser was in such an amazing spot. He did lose some, but he did take out Drogo's entire army. He pushed him back and he had the time to... He had the time to pick it back up, but Drogo, he smelled blood in the water and he went for it. And eventually, he did take down a laser. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys.